Good morning, sweet friends. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. And we know the four stands for the fourth month. We know 23 stands for the 23rd day of the fourth month. And we know 20 stands for the year 2020. So on Thursdays, we always go to PE. So I'm excited to see what you're gonna do. Last week, Alex showed us how he could slow motion in um, his pajamas off his front porch, which was really cool. And so I'd love to see what you're doing for PE today. So I want you to think right now, if we know that April is the fourth month, what is the eighth month? August. And then look at the next question. What comes before the fourth month? What comes before the fourth month? March, excellent job, very, very good. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at our weather chart, okay? So if you notice, we have all kinds of days that we have charted weather. So let's go ahead and be meteorologists. Let's take a look outside and let's see what we see to mark a new day of weather. So I'm looking outside and I'm seeing some clouds. I'm seeing some rain puddles and I'm seeing little dots hit those. Now it may not be raining super hard, but it's pretty wet outside. So I'm gonna say that today is a rainy day, which means you might, meet, you might need to be doing some go noodle or something cool inside. So let's take a look at our weather chart and let's see how many rainy and cloudy days have we had okay now you heard the word and and when we hear the word and that doesn't mean subtract it means plus so now i'm going to make an addition problem so what two numbers do we need to look at? How many rainy, so how many rainy days have we had? Six, very good. And how many cloudy days have we had? So how many have we had? Seven, very good. So now I'm ready for you to do that addition problem. What is six? plus seven. 13, very good. We have had 13 rainy and cloudy days. Awesome job. Now, I want you to look right here, and I want you to tell me, how many days have we charted weather? How many days have we been charting weather? Okay, are you ready? Five, 10, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We have charted weather 21 days. That's amazing. All right, let's take a look. We said today is Thursday. So I want you to think, if today is Thursday, what was yesterday? What was the day before today? And if today is Thursday, what will tomorrow be? What's the day after today? Good job. Okay, now, what will tomorrow's date be? And remember, you already told me what the day will be, but the date, you also have to have a month and a day with it. So what will tomorrow's date be? So the first thing we have to say is Friday. What month are we in? April, so it's Friday. April, what comes after the 23rd? 24th, so it's Friday, April 24th. 2020. Very good. All right, let's take a look at how many days we have been learning together. All right, help me count. Here we go. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 146 days. Now, I am ready for you to help me. I want you to tell somebody around you, how should I write this in an addition sentence? Okay, remember, 
We're counting these. So how many little bitty blocks are there? 100. How many little bitty blocks are here? 40. And how many little bitty blocks are here? Six. So this is exactly what your addition sentence should have said. 100 plus 40 plus six equals 146. So how do I write 146 with digits? A one, a four, and a six. Very good. Now, tell somebody, is 146 odd or even? And then tell them how you know. You should tell them that it's even and you know because you look in the ones place. Doesn't matter what number you have, you always look in the ones place. And this is where we find out if our number is odd or even. It is an even number. All right, now, remember yesterday when those crazy Mets kids took my stuff and went everywhere? Well, let me tell you, I found it. And guess where it was? It was right behind me under my seat. Don't, don't even get me started on those lunatics. They get me all kinds of crazy right now. So, I'm ready for you to tell me some time. Here we go. What time does my clock say? Okay, remember, it's in between the four and five. So, if it's in between, we always look back. So, it's four. It's 4.30. 4.30. Our clock says 4.30. Good job. All right, how about this time? Oh, yes. Okay, look carefully, don't let it fool you. It looks like that hour hand is on the 10, but we know if this minute hand moves all the way up to the o'clock, if it was already on the 10, that hour hand had to go to the 11. Did it go anywhere? Nope, so that clock is trying to trick you. So is it really on the 10? It's on the nine, it's on the nine. So we look back, it's on the nine. Now it is nine. 45. It is 945. Very good. All right. Now I've got my coins. Are you ready? I want you to tell me the name of this coin and how much it's worth. Look at it carefully. What is that coin and how much is it worth? It is a quarter and it is worth 25 cents. Very good. Ooh, I'm going to try to fool you. Be ready. What is the name of this coin and how much is it worth? A nickel and it's worth five cents. Okay, now I want you to look at this coin. Look at this coin. How much is it worth? Or what is it and how much is it worth? A dime and it's worth 10 cents. Last one is an easy one. You should know it. What is this coin and how much is it worth? A penny and it's worth one cent. Awesome job, guys. 